So one of the most common questions I get uh, from a lot of people just starting out is about what to do first when you're making a painting or a drawing. What do you do? And like, what's the most important thing to do? Or how do you figure that out? Is it the color? Is it, do you do a sketch? Do you, um, you know, do you have a plan? All the things like, what, how do you do it? It's kind of like, is it like building a house? Well, first you make the foundation and then you do these things. And so obviously there's no, uh, there's no rules. It's art, of course. But uh, over the years, I've learned um, a couple things about this that I see um, when people are starting out or even when you're not starting out. There's a thing that I want to share with you uh, that can be really, really helpful that if you do first, um, gives you more information and makes it easier and faster to figure out what, where you're going and what you want to what you want to do with it. So let me let me show you this. Um, okay, so let's say I have a picture. And uh, I can come in here and I can mix some paint up and I can do things in this picture, you know. And this is all good and everything, but do you see how um, these, the time I'm spending doing this over here, and they're really small little things, and most of the pictures not affect it. So what I'm saying is it becomes hard to, what you want to do in the beginning is you want to do big, the big things first, the big things, meaning, you know, do bold, big marks that really change things in the beginning. Now, this is hard, right? It's hard sometimes to do big, bold things. But if I do this, look at how much this picture has changed. And it's so powerful, you know, this information I get back, that then I can do other things over here in a bold way. And generally, um, starting out this way gives you a lot of energy and momentum because it's changing so quickly. It's really fun to see this thing happening. And that is the tip. Go for it. Be bold in the beginning. It's much, much easier to later, if you want to make things smaller and less noticeable, to come back in and cover things up, right? You know, add detail to things. But starting with it bold like this really, really moves it along and gets things so it's really exciting. Look how fast that came into being. So it's just something to think about. It's really simple, right? Do the big things first. Focus on the big changes. Um, give that a try and let me know. Okay, great.